Hello everyone and welcome back to my Minecraft survival world. So in between episodes I started making some pathways around the base. Okay so this one leads to the pandas and I started breeding with them so that we can get their numbers up a bit and later on we're gonna probably do a panda sanctuary and try and get a brown panda or or matter of fact get all the pandas all the different kind of pandas down here this one leads to the dark oak forest just around the corner here we've got a dark oak forest I haven't explored that yet and I haven't cut down any trees but we'll get to that later on in this episode and then at the back of this house I made a pathway leading towards the skeleton farm over here with the drop down and then continuing on this one just leads out into the sparse jungle over here and we'll continue this one maybe towards the sea or the ocean over there so also in between episodes i went mining a bit and the efficiency pick is almost dead so in this episode we are going to try and see if we can find a village and do some trades with villagers to try and get a mending book so what i want to do is get some honey as well as we going to be exploring this episode trying to see if we can find some spruce saplings i would love to get some spruce wood that's just easier to chop down than jungle wood and you're not always getting as much saplings back as you need so today we're just going to be exploring trying to find some villagers trade with them and see if we can put some mending on one of these items so let's get some things together and i'll be back just now okay so i've got a bit of resources together and let's head out in this direction getting some dark oak saplings and continuing on heading west to see if we can find a a mountain biome or a biome where we can get some spruce saplings so let me chop down a couple of these trees and get some saplings and then we can just head out okay so i managed to get eight saplings i'm just gonna head back home because i'm not that far away and drop all of these off so that we have inventory space to continue on okay so let's travel by boat down this river and see where it takes us and see if we can get any resources that we might need further on that we can try and see if we can collect it okay while we're here i see a beehive over here so down campfire you can see he has one bee so let's try and get him in there and see got a silk touch pick let's see if that works okay it looks like there's two in it and halves it nice get this back as well continue on while looking at the sun setting I saw we had some snow over there and it looks like we've got some spruce trees over there so let me head over there So while we're here, I'm just going to chop down these trees, get some saplings and maybe get some 
snow as well. Okay, so back home we managed to get some saplings and I managed to get a bee's nest with a couple of bees in it. I know I've got one that has three in because I got the, in the achievement that says with three bees inside. So let's just quickly try and see where is the chest that we can store most of the items. Store everything there. And then we can pop the snow in there, leave a couple of saplings here, and let's head into an east direction over here. We can try and go by boat over the ocean and see if we can get lucky and get a village. So that was really close to our base. I saw this floating island over here, our base is about 600 blocks that way, 700 blocks that way. I saw this floating island over here and I made my way over there and I saw in the distance this pillar. So we are very very close to a village. So quickly let's run through this place and see if we can put a swamp over here as well. So let's try and get some of these villages into a house okay so i grabbed everything that i could in this village and i made a spot down here for all the villagers who have beds and workstations but unfortunately they don't have any crops in the vicinity so i was looking for some carrots and some potatoes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just set off on my way and see if we can't get another village with some crops so I'm just gonna leave them here I might just block off this and over here the torch on that and we can always come back later on and make a villager breeder over here but first let's try and see if we can get some crops so I'm just gonna head on my boat along the, the coast again and see if we can't get another village okay so while exploring I found three villages and none of them had any crops so I decided just to come back and start building and start gathering some resources so that we can trade with the villagers now i did a couple of things down there but i was hearing a lot of cats on top so i'm gonna try and catch a couple of them i see there's two stuck on that mountainside and there's a ginger one here so i'm gonna try and catch all of these in the area here and then i'll show you what's going underneath okay so I managed to get these three cats they are all different and let me show you quickly downstairs what I'm busy with. So down here we're just going to make a normal villager breeder. And then over here we're going to extend it backwards into a villager trading hall. Cells. Just where I can try and see if I can get some villagers to trade with. And get ourselves some mending books. As you can see my fix are almost broken so i'm gonna try and get this up get some mending books and slap it on to all of my items
Okay, so after about a hundred lecterns placed, we finally found a mending villager. So I've been trading with the villagers, as you can see. We got a lot of emeralds. And as you can see, what I've been doing is just going upstairs, harvesting the spruce, converting it into sticks, and just trading with the villagers. You can get 16 emeralds per trade station. So if you do this the whole time, I think you can do it two times a day and you get a lot of resources or emeralds. So I'm just gonna buy like 10, 12 mending books and then head home and put mending on my diamond tools. I'm not gonna do it on uh, iron tools for now. I might just try and see if I can go mining a bit and get some more diamonds and then do the enchanting session again, getting some upgrades for my iron armor to diamond. So let me quickly trade with this villager. I've got seven books, so let's see if I can buy seven books. Okay, so I managed to get myself a full set of diamond armor and some enchanting tools and I managed to put on the mending on each of them. So I'm over here at the villages again and I've just been trading, getting some emeralds and another set of books. I also managed to get a carrot from a zombie. So I started breeding with the villagers over here. As you can see, it's going good. Now, I purposely did this farm in between a desert and a jungle or a sparse jungle over here so that we can get some different kinds of villages as you can see there's a uh, there's jungle villages in there and normal villages or desert villages so after that i decided maybe just let's get some villages over at spawn so that we can make a couple of farms over there um so that we can do a iron farm maybe and a automatic crop farm so I got these two villages in boats already and I made a, a tunnel towards where I want them at spawn. So let me try and get these safely to spawn. I've got some carrots on me so that we can start breeding them at spawn. Okay, so going along the ocean, we get to this pillar where there's a torch and inside there we've got a, a bit of a tunnel dug all the way let me just get let's just get down safely all the way down i made a two by three tunnel towards spawn so this is about 400 blocks that i dug out and it's just for uh, getting villagers to the villager breeder so let me do this with both of the villagers and start breeding with them Thank you. 
Okay, so the Hi. villager is safely over here. Now only to do it one more time. Okay, so we've got the two villages. The beds are in. The carrot has been planted. The composter is planted. Now it's just so that we can free this villager. Let him get the job. Okay. Do you want the job? He wants the job. And then we can just trade with him once and then we can just give them or get them started by throwing them some carrots. Now I'm gonna be planting and boat meeting some of these carrots so that we can get the villagers to breed more easily. So I'm just gonna do this and wait for a baby. It looks like they're breeding already. So let's wait for the baby. We are currently in a jungle biome, so we might get the jungle villagers. And we've got a baby. Let's quickly see, it is a jungle baby. So now we can let them breed. And then over yonder, over there, I'm gonna make an iron farm and somewhere over here I'm just gonna make some auto crop farms so it's in spawn chunks so hopefully that will produce a lot when I'm not in spawn chunks so that's why I wanted to build the iron farm in in the spawn chunks so that it will always be running and we can get a lot of iron so that we can make probably just hoppers and stuff like that because that always needs a lot of iron so let's quickly get a hoe i don't have a hoe on me so let's just make a not a wooden let's make a iron hoe and just hoe this piece of land and then we all sit now the villagers will end up here and they will be in this cell and then we can uh, distribute them through the jungle over here where we're gonna need some villagers for certain builds okay guys i think that's gonna be it for this episode thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers